This is One Child Charge Kids. This week, we're going to learn about another person who met Jesus. They travelled to find Jesus, but ended up feeling quite sad. We'll find out why after this activity. This is simple, but might be tricky. All you have to do is in 30 seconds, find as many yellow things as you can. Ready? and I'm going to be reading the story to you this morning. So today's story is about a rich man and I'm going to call him Levi. And once Levi met Jesus and this is how it went. So Levi heard of Jesus and he wanted to speak to him. So one evening, one evening, Levi went out on his donkey to where Jesus and his disciples were having tea. Levi said to Jesus, I want to know what to do so that I can be in your kingdom. Jesus said, well, you know the law. Respect your parents, do not murder, do not steal, do not lie, and the list goes on. But I've done all those things ever since I was a child, said Levi. Jesus looked the man up and down. He saw that he was very rich and he saw that he loved God. So Jesus said to him, go and sell all of your things, everything, then give the money to the poor and come and follow me. But Levi walked away, he felt sad. He loved his pretty things, his big houses, his fast horses, his beautiful gold ring. He didn't want to sell them, not even if it meant being Jesus' friend. That's the end of the story. Most of us have lots of lovely things and there is nothing wrong with that, absolutely nothing. But Jesus wants to be more important than those things. And I want to ask you, what are the, some of those special things to you? Close your eyes for a second and have a think. Close your eyes, close them with me. Is it a toy? Is it a new game that you've got? Is it a hat or a top or your favorite pair of shoes? And I'm gonna pray for us now, keep your eyes closed. Lord, help me to love you more than anything that I'm thinking about right now. Help me to put you first. Amen. Thank you for listening, have fun. Hello Excite! So we've just heard the story about the rich young ruler who loved the things that he had too much and so he couldn't follow Jesus and leave them behind. We're going to make the rich young ruler now. You can use a wooden spoon like this but I need mine for cooking so I'm going to use some paper. So we make a face out of the paper and then fold this up for his body. Oh I've got card here so it's a bit stiff. You just fold it up, fold it up. You might need a grown-up to help you with this. And stick it on the back to make his body. And we've got a body and a face for our rich young ruler. There we go. It's a long time since I've seen you at church. We're missing you. I hope that you're all fine. There we go. So let's stick his head onto his body. Like I said, you might need a grown up to help you with that, but whoops, <laughs> I still need to stick it some more. It's a bit tricky with the paper. Might have been easier if I'd used the, the spoon, but anyway, there we go. There's our rich young ruler, there's his head. We need to give him a face now. So let's give him some eyes. Some dots for eyes and a nose. And I'm going to make my rich young ruler a bit sad because he felt sad when he went away and left Jesus. 
He thought, I like Jesus, but I like my stuff even more. So, hmm, he was a bit sad. Let's give him some hair. Now this could take a little while, so I'm only gonna do a little bit of hair. If you've got more time, you can do more. You can just color it in if you don't have wool or string, but I've got a bit of wool. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of hair at the back. There we go, rolling it around my fingers, and then I'll cut it. You might need a grown-up to help you with this too. Okay, let's give him some hair. I think I'm gonna stick it on with sellotape. You can use glue. I'm going to use sellotape because it's a bit faster. There we go, let's stick it on. There we go, he's got some hair on his head, but I think he might need a beard. So we'll give him a little bit of a beard as well. Oh dear, that's not sticking very well. I might need a bit of glue too. Let's try that. Okay, again, you might need someone to help you with the cutting. I don't want you cutting your fingers by mistake. That would be sad. Okay, I'm going to put some glue on as well. Oh, my glue's very stiff. There we go. There. No, <laughs> it's not working at all. I've got old glue here, it's not working. So I'll use sellotape again. Dear me. Let's give him a beard as well. Oh, he's got quite a long beard. It's okay to love things, to have favorite things. It's just not okay when your favorite thing is more important than Jesus. And that's what it was like for the rich young ruler. He liked his house and his jewels and everything more than Jesus. So there he is with his beard and his hair. And now I think we need to give him a cloak. You could use some fabric if you wanted. Blue, yeah. Looks quite good, but I like this gold. I got it off some chocolates. So I'm going to use the gold paper because it makes them look very rich. It's all golden. So I'm going to wrap that round him. It's quite noisy, isn't it? I think you might have heard my dog barking there. We'll call her at the end. She can come see the rich young ruler. So there we go. And let me just stick that on. And that's my daughter's bird. Lots of noise in my house. She's doing the dishwasher and he doesn't want her to be away, so he's calling her, come back. <laughs> okay, nearly done. Here's our rich young ruler. Doesn't he look rich? But he's not happy, because he left Jesus. Should we see if the dog likes it? Chica, chica. What do you think, Chica? Come say hello to the children. There we go. There's Chica. What do you think of the rich young ruler? There. <laughs> uh, she just wants to play. Yeah, she's seen some birds outside. Well, we'll see you next time. So don't forget, Jesus is much, much more important than other things. It's a pity the rich young ruler didn't realize that. Bye, excite.